Welcome to another episode. Today we've got a 2010 game uh, called Magma Monster. Set number is 3847, has 95 pieces, 4 micro figures, and a brick built monster. And uh, originally retailed for $14.99. Here's the front of the box. And the back. You get two manuals with this set. Uh, the first one is the normal building instructions. Went on the back. And the second one is the game rules. See there's an ad for a Harry Potter game. And let's take a look at the micro figures. Uh, first up we've got this guy. Pretty nice. And then the green one. The blue one. And white. And then this brick built monster, which is pretty cool looking. And my favorite part about him is his head actually has one of those uh, bricks with studs on four sides. So that's a great piece to have more of. And as you can see, he's got the, uh, the white one by one stud with a hole in it. Um, I've only seen that in the games. I haven't seen that in any other sets. But great design on him. And here's a shot of the die included in here. Um, you know, it's got the typical hard plastic on the inside, but the outside is rubber, so it's not too loud. So here's what the game looks like all set up. It really only takes like two minutes to do this. It's very, very basic. Um, but basically, you just roll the dice, and so let's say the white player goes first, he rolls tan. Well, that means he can lay one of these tan bricks in front of him, and he can walk across it. And then gray, he rolls brown. We can place a brown one and start walking. Now let's say the green one rolls red. Well then he can move this wall of fire here anywhere on the board he wants to. So if he wanted to, he could put that right in front of these guys and make them go around it. Um, it doesn't really deter you that much. It's it's not that big of a, a problem. And then let's say, you know, the black, or I'm sorry, the blue player, he also rolls tan. Well, that means he can lay down a tan brick of his own and start moving. Now let's say it's the white player's turn. He rolls black. What that means is he can take one of these bats and place it on another player to slow his progress. So when the blue player's turn comes around again, he has to roll a black to defeat the bat. Otherwise, he's got to go all the way back to the beginning, which right now isn't a big deal, but he, if he's close to defeating the monster and he has to go all the way back, then it's a big deal. So let's say the gray player rolls a red. Well, he can take that and he can move it anywhere on the board he wants. He can move it right in front of the, the guy in white, or he can move it off to the side so it doesn't block anyone. It's his choice. Now, once your player has a stone touches black area at the end, he has to roll the dice immediately to determine if he wins. And basically, all he has to do is not roll black. 
and he wins the game. And that is pretty much it. So I'm not really a fan of this set. Um, the only thing I really like about it is the orange base plate. And outside of using it for lava, I can't really think of any other uses for it at the moment. Um, there are much better games out there. I thought this game was a, a little bit boring, a little bit simple. So I would recommend you stay away from this one and uh, go check out one of the other awesome LEGO games that they have out there. Until next time.